In today's tutorial on medicinal drugs, we will have a look at propifenazone and we'll try to develop an appropriate synthesis based on a retrosynthetic analysis. So, here we have a structural five membered heterocycle. And first of all, we have to look for strategic bonds. So, bonds that are easy to form. Well, heteroatom carbon bonds are easy to form and are generally regarded as strategic bonds. We should think about, in, within the retrosynthetic analysis, to cleave these bonds first. And we will write down The structure of the symphons, since the hetero atoms, the nitrogens, are certainly reactive centers with donator reactivity. Let's put on a D. Then, on the other hand, we need acceptor reactivity at those carbons. These are symphons. Let's translate those into synthetic equivalents. This is very simple. Just put on a leaving group X here at that carbonyl group and in case of a double bond with acceptor reactivity, well, we could put a double bond here and also a leaving group X there, but in both cases it's much easier to just translate it into a carbonyl group because with the delta plus here, this is an electrophilic center and by condensation reaction we will get either the double bond here or the double bond there or these are tautomers. So, and in this case donator reactivity, well, just with this molecule, with hydrogens here, we have donator reactivity since at both positions the nitrogens have three electron pairs and have nucleophilic character. The problem here is, well, this methylated phenyl hydrazine is not at all cheap. Well, in our process we somehow have to add a methyl group and here this isopropyl group makes this molecule more expensive. Best would be if we could start for a large-scale synthesis with the cheapest possible starting material and in this case is it the molecule without the methyl group? Well, let's take here an ester and then we should have the idea just taking an ethyl ester and this structure is just acetoacetic acid ethyl ester. So, on the other hand, just phenyl hydrazine. Well, under basic or slightly better, slightly acidic conditions, we will, first of all, 
eliminate water, a condensation reaction to an enum. So, first of all, B minus water, and then intramolecularly, there also condensation reaction, eliminating ethanol. And then we already have the five-membered heterocycle. This one. So, how do we get the isopropyl group at this position? Well, we could try a base deprotonate here, since this methyl group is double activated by the car by conjugation with the carbonyl group and the imine, and then taking, for instance. Uh, 2-bromopropane, but this is expensive. The cheapest reagent for getting an isopropyl group in here is certainly acetone. So, base and acetone condensation reaction. will lead us to this olefin and now we just have to make a rather cheap catalytic hydrogenation with an appropriate catalyst attacking that double bond but leaving the amino functionality unaffected and then we already have the isopropyl group at the correct position. So what about the methylation we need to achieve at that nitrogen? Just adding something appropriate, methyl groups with a leaving group that might be, for instance, dimethyl sulfate. Always be careful with alkylating agents. They are highly toxic. So, an alkylating step will give us an ammonium cation, in this case, in this case an aluminium cation. Where do we have the acidic proton? Again here, with a base, we will be able to eliminate HX and, well, this is then already the result we are aiming for our target molecule. Thanks for listening.